This project is one of the largest artificial river projects in Afghanistan and Central Asia. Join this video to know the details of Afghanistan's largest river project. At the starting point of the Kosh Tepe channel, a very large dam is built. This dam is made to control high water levels. Maybe if the water in the AMU Sea increases. This barrier prevents the destruction of lands and canals. About 14 gates will be built in this barrage, which is used for water control. Above the first phase of this canal, two big bridges are being built. The work of these bridges is in the final stages. That is, it is being finished. That's one of them, Mazar Haraiten railway line that passes over the Kosh Tepe channel. The working stages of this railway line of Mazar e Haraitan are being completed. The height of this railway bridge is 8.85 meters, and its length is about 90, 100 meters, and has 16 bases. After 60 days, the train will pass over this rail line, and still another bridge is working above this canal, which is called Public Bridge. This bridge is 90% completed. The foundation of this bridge has been excavated for about 25 meters because it has been excavated so much that there is no concrete point here. And the foundations of the bridge need more depth to be strong. The first phase of this canal is 90% complete. And the second phase has not started yet. And the road is 20 meters both sides of this canal. And the construction work of these roads continues. The cost of this project reaches $1 billion. In northern Afghanistan, people were facing a serious water problem. There was little water. This problem has increased especially in recent decades, due to the heat of the earth and the reduction of underground water reserves. Areas that used to have successful agriculture have turned into dry deserts. In this situation, the people and government of Afghanistan decided to build a huge irrigation canal called Kash Tepe Canal. This channel is 285 kilometers long, 152 meters wide, and 8.5 meters deep. The main purpose of building this canal is to supply water for farms and agriculture in the northern regions of Afghanistan. The Kash Tepe Canal actually solves Afghanistan's water needs and makes it possible for the country to become a wheat exporter by 2028. The project is divided into three phases. The first two phases include canal digging, and the third phase is dedicated to the installation of water irrigation systems and other infrastructure. An interesting point of this project is that all efforts and financial expenses for the construction of the canal were done by the Afghan government. However, the project was carried out with the help of thousands of workers and private contractors. These workers helped build the canal using simple machines and limited equipment. The construction of Kash Tepe Canal is very step-by-step. -step. First, hydraulic gates are built to prevent flooding in winter and rainy periods. In different parts of the first phase, the canal is gradually being cleaned and repaired. Concrete slabs were not installed to irrigate the areas near the canal due to high costs. Instead, the soil around the canal was used as natural water sources from underground water sources. Also, underground irrigation pipelines were built so that farmers could have access to water. Along the canal, trees were planted to prevent soil erosion and strengthen the soil. This project seems to be done with the efforts of the Afghan people and the cooperation of the local people. This project not only helps to provide water for agriculture, but also strengthens the economy of local areas and creates employment. This project shows that with determination and effort, serious problems can be solved and big projects can be implemented. Construction of Kash Tepe Canal in Afghanistan is a stormy and bold project. Thousands of experienced workers and engineers work in difficult conditions to make this huge irrigation canal operational. This project, in addition to providing water for agriculture, has important economic and social effects on local areas and Afghanistan. With the construction of Kesh Tepe Canal, more than 550,000 hectares of land will be converted into agriculture with a focus on grain and wheat. This project enables Afghanistan to become one of the main exporters of wheat in the region. These great efforts, especially for the people of the northern regions of Afghanistan, who in the past years were faced with a lack of water and a decrease in agricultural products, 
create the hope of improving their living conditions. With the construction of Cash Tepa Canal, in addition to irrigating fields, job creation will also increase significantly. Thousands of people from 34 provinces of Afghanistan participate in the project as workers and earn a stable income. These people play an important role in building the channel, and it helps to improve the economic situation of themselves and their families. At the same time, this project also had challenges due to high costs and financial problems. Installation of concrete slabs for Cash Tepa Canal was not possible due to high costs, and underground water sources are used as natural irrigation sources. This issue requires effective care and exploitation of underground water sources, so that enough water is available during periods of drought. Also, the Afghan government used its tax revenue to support the project. This project is of great importance for the people of Afghanistan, and it shows that with people's decision, cooperation, and effort, serious problems such as water shortage can be solved. Kesh Tepa Canal is an example of how a country can successfully complete large projects with internal efforts and local cooperation and improve the living conditions of people in different areas, including farmers and workers. This project can be an inspiring model for solving environmental and economic problems in other countries. After the completion of this big project, this area becomes a place of entertainment, and thousands of people from different regions and different countries will travel in this beautiful and spectacular place. The natural scenery around Kesh Tepa Canal is amazing. You can enjoy the dry and desert nature of northern Afghanistan and experience the mountain scenery and relaxing plains. But in the following years, all these areas will be green, and you will miss the fresh air. This channel can be seen as a practically huge and unique engineering structure. This canal, which was built in a very large length and width, can be considered as an engineering masterpiece in the region. During your trip to this area, you can get to know the local people and experience their culture and daily life. From local food and music to arts and crafts, enjoy these areas, and the experience will be unforgettable. In the near future, you will be able to see the reported farms near the Kesh Tepa Canal and the agricultural process in this area. This may be a great opportunity to better understand the daily life of local people and the importance of this project to them. Along the Kesh Tepa Canal, you may see large bridges built to allow vehicles and people to cross rivers and other waterways. These bridges are a symbol of Afghanistan's engineering ability to create critical infrastructure. Observing the positive impact of this project on people's lives and the economy of the region can be a spiritual and interesting experience. You can talk to people and learn more about their experiences and views about this project. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to this channel to be aware of our new videos. Bye until the next video.